this midnight swoop you know i was i was a journalist in 2001 uh, some of us are, are are that vintage uh, and so we've seen these images we've seen these dramatized images these dramatized debates around corruption uh, and politicians in tamil nadu mohan play out more than once is there anything different about this moment well i mean the difference here is that the central government is actually using the tools at its disposal not the state government i mean but that would be the only operative difference i can see to some extent i beyond that i just want to you know offer a counter view to uh, suman's view on why central balaji is so important so central balaji comes from the western belt of tamil nadu that has traditionally been a strong hold of the adnk and when he won his by election after joining the dmk it was an incredibly hard election to win it was sort of a, an incredible victory of sorts after which he went ahead and in the assembly elections as a district secretary swept his entire district in local body elections he went he was put in charge of the uh, kongu belt uh, capital of coimbatore if you will and that swept those elections so he has grown from strength to strength and is helping the dmk actually breach the citadel of the western belt of tamil nadu which has always allowed the admk to form government despite waves that have gone against them in other mm. places even in this particular election where stalin formed where the dmk formed government you still found that we were want we were you know we were found wanting in the western belt of tamil nadu so central balaji for the dmk represents a way to actually grow the dmk's vote share slowly but steadily he's of the that's right interesting one leader in that area which is why he is so important it's unfair to just term him as a conduit as sumanth has done so and say that that's the reason why everyone showing up so okay okay okay, okay. sumanth sumanth jump right in sumanth my mic yeah barka i think mohan knows very well there was a recent by election i mean when he talks about sendil balaji expanding the base of the dmk he doesn't say how there was a by election recently in erod where it is believed a sum of more than 100 crore was spent on a by election mohan knows it only too well the dmk i mean the congress candidate there went on to win now the point i'm trying to make is mr sendil balaji is seen are you as, are you basically fact, alleging that mr balaji is bank rolling the congress polls that's essentially no, no, your allegation he, he, look 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 he actually did bank roll because the erode election though the congress was a candidate the entire campaign was run by the dmk and mr mohan will also ac- accept that i don't think he will deny that that apart uh, you know there is a constant talk of mr sendil balaji being the eknath shinde of tamil nadu in fact hmm. there has been persistent talk for the last several months that he is the weak link who could be persuaded and, and you know i mean once uh, they come over to the bjp side they are purified i mean whoever it is whether it is narayan rane or you know the huge list is there so yeah. they become purified so sendil balaji could become pure as snow should he you know choose to cooperate with the bjp i don't think that will happen but he is spoken of on social media you will see many many such posts calling him the let's ask shinde let's ask shrikant karunesh that that is this the eknath shinde of tamil nadu are we suddenly going to see him in the chief minister's chair with the help of you know the, the bjp uh, affiliated yeah, groups as one of the imagination uh, yeah but well but what what i am thinking is hearing everybody's point of view because in this case it's very very clear because um, what he has committed the the legal action has been taken by the uh, ad very clearly and even they said well, how come they can enter the secretariat but um, earlier in in admk government when uh, ad has entered uh, the chief secretary's office in the same secretariat uh, mr stalin was welcoming it he said uh, that time he said ad is a separate independent body they have all the right to go they can do the justice like this he was welcoming it open statement he said it but now in this case he is telling how can uh, the ed can enter the secretariat enter into minister's yeah. office without obtaining yeah. permission from falana falana as they are telling second thing is um, what we are thinking is um, the, hafiz the, hafiz is going on saying this hafiz give no, me a he is waving me he is waving he is acknowledging me i know hafiz is acknowledging me <laughs> what <to do? laughs> so, 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 so what i what is thinking is the same hafiz and dmk you know they would have taken a different stand had chandil balaji been in admk now they would have bombarded him because it is the same yeah. case they have been uh, yeah. accusing him on 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 the face of uh, this minister by naming him in the same area what he is telling is strong hold of kongnad area he went to karur in his place and stalin ji was talking on that day 
so mm-hmm. now just because he is in the party and and every media is mentioning he is the cash box he is a karuvolam tamil mein sab log bol rahe hain so yahi hai so everybody is pampering him the problem here is we are not saying about any legal action this is about the way it is behaving the inhuman violation of human right for 18 continuous hours he was been harassed by investigating agencies despite telling he has chest pain he was not given medical attention for 3 hours only things got complicated he was he was allowed to no when i said if 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 they are quoting this the whole corruption happened during the adg admk government jailalitha's government sindhil balaji cannot be isolated out of the government now you are in alliance with the same party which ran the government you were as what that the is a fair question what that is why i'm saying it's a zero sum that has. is a fair question all politics everybody has a skeleton in the cupboard and i'm still of the opinion that admk bjp alliance may or may not happen for 2024 i because i have voiced my opinion several times in public forum and in many other channels uh, shri khan may not like it but at the same time i have i voiced that saying that why they should not align also i have been uh, voicing my opinion so it's unfair to ask me why uh, uh, related to bjp so you're not uh, you're not in favor of this alliance basically I, I, i'm not in favor of this alliance in fact i some of my recommendations to leadership in bjp is not to go with admk for 2024 at least if not for other uh, you know election so that has been my recommendation as well but coming back to this uh, it's a cash 22 situation for both the admk and dmk because yeah. this corruption happened during admk jayalalitha's period as a chief minister and admk cannot celebrate the arrest of sendil balaji on this case at the same time dmk also it's a cash 22 situation because stalin was the one who actually talked about this corruption at uh, this particular corruption every rally that he was addressing until 2008 until uh, you know uh, sindhil balaji joined dmk so both the parties have uh, you know it's a it's a embarrassment for them to either defend or uh, you know celebrate you know both have to have a, a distance i am wondering whether we are in republic of india or republic of amnesia because everybody seems to conveniently forget corruption when it comes to political convenience that joke apart the important point is that Bal- sentil balaji belongs to the gounder caste which is a dominant they are like the jats of the western part of uh, tamil nadu and to that extent that is the same community from which edapadi ramaswamy who is the arch rival of mr stalin today in uh, tamil nadu politics comes from so sentil balaji is a very important uh, rook or bishop in the chessboard on tamil nadu let me also tantalizingly mention in a very seemingly unconnected way that the star, shining star of tamil nadu's politics the finance minister uh, ptr you know was moved out to uh, the you know it after an audio tape leak we still don't know the origins of that dubious and mr anamala is talking about part 2 of these tapes but yeah go yeah, ahead so yeah so these these tapes have a connection with whatever is going on and i can i can't tell you more because i don't have evidence but the point is that there is a plan out to capture tamil nadu in which there are some free agents available for either uh, arm twisting or for useful uh, as they say some people are useful idiots and uh, all this is going on i can tell my friends in bollywood to make a netflix series on this <laughs> because i don't have any evidence but i can tell you i have been long enough in this business to smell okay. beyond what the noses show okay